Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of The Peak Above. So we just reached this amazing place in Rajasthan, in Mewar. It's called Chittorgarh. Very famous, very popular all across the world. And it's popular because of this, you know, Chittorgarh Fort. Uh, this is a panoramic view of the entire fort. Okay. So the place that we are staying in, it's called Padmavat uh, Fort View Hotel. However, the view from the restaurant or the rooftop is absolutely stunning. It, is, it shows me the entire fort from here and it looks so marvelous. We'll go there in the evening as well and just check out how the fort looks at night, you know, how the lighting, everything looks like. There's also a light and sound show, but it's closed right now due to COVID. But uh, eventually, when situations uh, come to normal, you can go ahead and visit uh, the light and sound show. So we initially we planned that you know we'll rest in our uh, you know we'll rest in a bit, have something, and then probably head out to the port tomorrow. But somebody told us you know come here in the evening, you'll love the view, and we're not disappointed because the view is simply superb. Something worth taking in your memories for. I'm so so happy that I came here at this time because. I don't think so, I would have seen this view. So I think the port opens at around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's open till 8 o'clock. The entry gate till here is open till 8 o'clock in the evening. So you can plan accordingly. We're coming here tomorrow morning, we'll see everything right from the start and tell you about the history of the port as well. So see you soon. So eventually all of the ticketing process has now become cashless. So you have to scan this QR code here. This is around 40 per person, not around, it's exactly 40 per person and uh, 600 for foreigners. So that's to the entry of the fort. There's a different ticket for the museum. That's if you want to go ahead and do that. So in front of me is the largest temple in Chittorgarh Fort. So Chittorgarh Fort is a world heritage site and there are 113 temples in the, in the entire fort complex. Among all these 113 temples, this Kumbh Mandir or the Vishnu Mandir as they call it is the largest one. So the architecture of this temple is so nice. It looks so good, so intrinsic, so, so artistically done. Every rock tells you a story. The big structure out there, the top structure, that looks like Puri's Jagannath Mandir and there are some parrots out there, at least four or five parrots. See? 
okay and the one the smaller one this one looks like somnath temple of gujarat this temple here is dedicated to mirabai who had given her life to the devotion of lord vishnu she was you know attempted to be murdered twice by vikramaditya but both times she survived front of you and as i pan my camera around you see a very popular spot a very popular place that you've seen in various movies pictures so this was the swimming pool of rani padmavati so there's a secret tunnel which she used to use while coming here there's a temple out there which is submerged right now this entire tank is 80 feet deep so there are around 7 to 8 tanks around across chitorgarh fort similar to this So right now we are at the most important location of the entire Chitorgarh fort. So this entire site here, there's a garden, there's grass out there. So that's called the Johar site. So if you heard about Johar before, it's where women, especially royal women, give themselves up to fire to save themselves against foreign invaders. So three times in the history of this fort, there was Johar done here. uh during aladdin khilji's time during akbar's time akbar's attack and third time during rana sanga's attack just beside that chaur side this is sati side sati side is similar to chaur but it's done uh it's being forced on women you know the sati side and that was the chaur side chaur side you know where you are saving your self respect by jumping to the fire against foreign invaders sati where you being was to jump into the fire when your husband dies one is for self respect and other out say abuse i would say blatant abuse of people's rights people's right to live these two victory tower behind me <laughs> 